All right, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> um, sorry, I've been making too many videos lately. Uh, I've been real busy with work, and I had a really bad cold. Lost my voice for a few days, so. But I'm back with a video that's been requested probably a hundred times, easy. Um, that I don't really know why I haven't made yet. Um, so at this point, you've hacked your PSP. Hopefully, using one of my other videos. You, you know, regardless of what PSP model it is or firmware version you're on, you go to my channel and you can hack your PSP. So, you know, you hacked your 3000, you installed some Pro, you hacked your 1000, you got yourself some ME, or maybe you got LME, whatever. The process is the same for all of them. And now you want to know how you can play backups, how you can download ISOs, CSOs, all that good stuff and play them on your PSP because you have no idea what you need to do in order to play them on your PSP so I'm going to show you where you can get some ISOs and I'm going to show you where to put them what folders you need to create all that good stuff in order to play backups on your PSP now that it's hacked um, I have to legally first and foremost start off by saying it's illegal to download games that you don't already own a UMD copy of so if you don't own the UMD, don't download the games, all right? Legal obligation. So any games that you download are intended as backups. <clears throat> so here we go. First thing you want to do is find somewhere to get your ISOs. And what better place to get ISOs than sneaky-media.com. Right there. So I'll put a link to Sneaky Media in the description. And um, you have a couple options to find some ISOs once you get to Sneaky Media. If you see up here at the top, try searching sneakymedia.com's library. You can do that. Or you can head down here. And you can go into the PSP friendly ISOs. Those ones you can download from your computer or from your PSP directly. PSP friendly ISOs. And if you go down here, you have ISO CSO downloads that are not necessarily PSP friendly. We're going to go in there for the sake of this tutorial. And uh, I already downloaded a small ISO. Let me just find the topic. Here it is right here. This Uno ISO, the card game. If you look down there, I already downloaded it. Uno. But if you go into the UNO topic, it will give you a download link so that you can download UNO for yourself. Click on the download link, and you're going to get this advertisement right up here in the top right hand corner. It will tell you, please wait, you know, X amount of seconds. Press skip ad, and then you'll be taken to the download page. Uh, if you don't know how to use a file sharing site, uh, you should check your pulse. <laughs> because uh, I can't think of many people left who still don't know how to use a uh, file share, but click on the slower download, pop-up's going to jump up at you, close that. Uh, it's because I just downloaded it. It says you need to wait 1,200 seconds. But <clears throat> if you uh, normally, after you click that slow download right here, a capture will show up that you have to enter, like, you know, the two words, and they're all jumbled up. And you got to enter that, press submit, and then the download link will appear at the top of the page up here where mine is red you will get a download link right up here all right so now that you're you're familiar with the process of uh, of downloading ISOs and getting ISOs onto your computer my ISO is right there and I'm gonna click here and go to show in folder for the sake of this so we got it right there now that's the folder where it's saved and then we're going to take our PSP, and, oh, first, first of all, let me show you just for the sake of showing you, because if I don't, I'm a liar. Uh, I don't know if you can see that all that well, 620 Pro B10 on this, my, uh, my PSP 3000 3G module, the one I use in all my videos. See, my, my silver PSP. This will no longer be with me at the end of next week. I've sold it. Somebody purchased it from me, <clears throat> but I will be getting a PSP Go, so I can make some PSP Go videos. So, um, 
now that we're you know you're in pro uh, you want to connect to your USB connection and open up your PSP on your computer now once your uh, once your PSP opens up Alright, once your PSP opens up, <clears throat> you'll get all your folders. Uh, I alphabetize mine, but um, you'll have all your folders here. What you need to do is you need to create a folder to put the ISOs into because they have to be in a specific folder. So right click inside your folder where your uh, PSP starts and go down to New and go to Folder and hit X and then it will give you a new folder. Now you want to name this folder capital I S O ISO hit enter now you get your ISO folder go ahead and open up your ISO folder ISO folder is empty obviously now basically all you have to do is take the ISO file that you downloaded right there that's my ISO file type ISO file, 159 megs, and this is the ISO folder that we just created right here. And you, all you need to do <coughs> is click and drag, and copy that to the ISO folder. And it will take a few minutes to copy, depending on size, it might take up to five or six minutes to copy it. Alright, there we go. Now we see the ISO is inside the ISO folder. You can go ahead. What I, one thing that I usually do is I usually uh, change the names of my ISOs because long ISO names will not work. So I'm just going to change that. Oh, wait a minute. Change it to Uno. Change it to Uno and hit enter. What is it making the first one? Oh, who cares? Alright, <clears throat> so now you changed it to a shorter file name. You can close that. You can close that up. And you can disconnect your PSP from the computer. And then if you go over to the game section, on my PSP, <clears throat> I have uh, game categories light, so all my stuff is categorized. But anything that's in the ISO folder will be in the uncategorized section. There it is. There is my Uno CSO. I mean my Uno ISO. So if uh, you know if you like this video and it helped you, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, react, all that stuff, and uh, visit sneaky-media.com, sneaky-codes.tk. For all your PSP, homebrew, firmware updates, hacks, codes, everything. And sneaky-media.com, PSP friendly, completely PSP friendly site. Movies, ISOs, music, TV shows, everything. So check them both out. And, uh, and then anytime you download more ISOs, you just put them right into the ISO folder. And you're all set. You're ready to go. And they'll show up in your XMB. Alright, it's one later signing out.